Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd give you guys a tour of my she shed slash studio. Since you guys saw me clean it up last time, it was a huge mess and now it's actually relatively clean and I'm between projects so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour. If you're excited for this video, give it a big old thumbs up and if you haven't joined the pack yet, hit the subscribe button down below. All right guys, let's go. Okay, so walking into my studio, you guys have probably seen a little bit of this before. This is where I work. You, you've probably seen it in the background of my videos, but I'm going to give you guys a more in-depth tour, starting with this side. You're walking in the front door. This is my filming space slash relaxing space. We have this old couch from, I believe, one of our my husband's grandmother was giving it away. Um, that was what we got from her when we first got married. It's still in really good shape, um, but we upgraded our living room couch. So now this couch is out here for me. I have my wolf pelt blanket. It's actually just a faux fur blanket from Pottery Barn. Yeah, but it's super soft and I love it. I love being under it. It just doesn't go with the decor inside the house and I am the only one who loves it. So it's out here with my shed. I also have all of my little babies up here. We have Knox, which you guys saw me make for the first time up here. We have our snow dragon that I bought and this guy down here. I think his name was Cinder when I bought him, but they're all just here. They're all very, very soft and they're here down in my videos. Followed by, I have my wolf painting up on the wall. This guy is actually painted on really thick, heavy wood. I got this at a state fair long time ago when I was in high school. It's been with me ever since. Growing up, it was always in my bedroom, even when I took it to college. And now it's out here in the she shed. Back over here, you can see the wolves theme is following. My stepmother gave me this as a gift back of my room in high school when I had this on my wall. And I just kept him. He's beautiful and he goes great with the pelt. Over here, I have just my side table where I keep my wax warmer and I have my sketchbook over there. I currently have a bunch of wires over here. One is for the wax warmer and the second one is for my fairy lights up here. But lately my fairy lights have only decided to work half the time. So no matter what I do, they won't turn on. It's not the outlet because the outlet works just fine. So we're gonna be replacing these soon. Over next to my couch and end table, I have this three-tiered bookshelf. I believe I got this at Target while I was in college as well. And I did end up putting these little sliding baskets inside the drawers. The, this is where I keep kind of all my on-deck projects. Right now I've got like a dress to repair in here, a blanket I need to fix. This needs to be glued back on a wreath that I have. I have a pillow and a cosplay down here. And down here in the bottom bin, it's kind of just a little bit of storage. I have backgrounds for banners. I believe my Mickey Mouse ears are in here for Disney, as well as all my Disney stuff up here. I have all of my pins and buttons. This is a bag of medals, I believe my husband, that just hasn't made it up to storage yet. But that's pretty much all that's in that bookshelf. You guys have seen my mannequin before. She is currently modeling mommy to be and mom to be. My sashes from when I was pregnant with my daughter. And speaking of my daughter, here is her playpen slash holding area, I guess. Um, we don't use it as a baby prison. It's got a door that's wide open. She can go in and out of it. She walks freely now. And honestly, if I close the door on her, she throws a huge fit and does not want to be there. So I just kind of have all her toys in here right now. She hasn't been out here in a while, so they're kind of just thrown in there. But whenever she comes out here with me and plays, those toys are all over the floor. Next, we have my husband's old recliner. This was in the living room with the couch before when we got married. Um, but once we upgraded the couch, it came out here. I also have my wolf pelt pillow that is also from Target, but he matches my blanket beautifully. So he made it to the she shed as well. Back here, I'm just storing my dog's old crate and I have some lighting equipment just tucked away. 
Over here is my old nightstand from my college bedroom as well. It has moved out here for, for some storage. It was in our office keeping our printer supplies. Now I have it storing my Cricut supplies, my vinyls, my heat press, um, various shirts and things for my Cricut. You can ignore this stuff. This is some stuff for decorations for later. Um, this guy needs to go up in storage. Speaking of storage, this is the loft. It is packed full of storage. That is our only form of storage. So um, that is why sometimes these boxes end up down here and things end up just kind of shoved under. It's because our storage is getting pretty full. Moving on to the creative side. We just have our basic folding table where I keep my Cricut. This is where I do all of my vinyl cutting and printing as well as writing. This lamp I'm actually taking into my living room now that I've got it fixed. I have my cutting mat over here with some projects. Over here on this wall is where I keep all my acrylic paints. These guys um, are actually just spice racks that I found on Amazon, which worked out perfectly. I have all my paints, my glitters, my glues, all stored here ready to go. And of course we have the air conditioner. And if you guys remember when I had to redo the interior of my shed, um, it was full of mold. So I do have a dehumidifier in here just to prevent that from ever happening again. I keep my ironing board stashed over here. I'm hoping to eventually get one that'll fold down from the wall. Um, but until then, I, he's just over here set up as I from my last project. And then coming over here, this is my full workspace and storage space. So on the countertop here, I have my little mini fridge we got at Sam's Club or Costco. It, is, it holds a few, several cans and little waters. I do need to restock it, but it does great at keeping them cold. So I don't have to walk all the way back inside just to get a drink. I have a little stash up here. With the rest of the cabinet, this guy's, these guys are just storage. I haven't put them away yet. I have my embroidery machine. It's, we have it living under its cover right now, but it's the Disney Brother embroidery machine, which I use to put names and initials and things onto my projects. Next to that, we have my serger, also under its cover. This guy, he is an older model. This is a Singer, looks like Ultralock 14. This guy was given to me by my stepmother who acquired it from, I believe her mother or her grandmother. And she never used it for sewing. And I had been asking for a serger for a while and they do run pretty expensive. So she just handed me down this one and I've been tinkering with it. It does work. Um, I'm slowly getting it back up to par so that I can use it for my projects. And next to that, these guys are just some towels I have set aside. I'll be making some hooded towels for my friends who are expecting their first child. And then my singer simple, you guys have seen him. He's my tried and true baby. He's just sitting over here, kind of taking a nice needed vacation. I have his cover tucked away back here. He's taking his nice needed vacation because I will, because I will show you guys in a minute, I have my new sewing machine. Moving up here, I have my pegboard that I made myself. This is just a standard pegboard that I got from Lowe's or Home Depot. And I had some leftover paint from my daughter's nursery, so I decided to paint it purple. In my previous workspace, I had had a teal one with a frame, but when we moved, it didn't transport well, so we made a new one. Over here, I keep my rollers. I have the, I believe, nine by 24, an eight by, I can't count. This is a six by 24, five by nine, I think, four by nine, and then just a four by four square. I use those for different quilting projects. They also have my angles on them. You can ignore the glare to help me out with my projects. I have these guys' little cups full of like my tools, my pens. I have my X-Acto knife in here. And down here, I have my sewing machine, sewing machine repair tools. I have things like um, tweezers, needle nose tweezers. I have the giant pair of tweezers. 
This guy's I use when my machine's not working right and I need to fix something. I have those guys ready to go. Next to that, I have all of my embroidery thread put in rainbow order. As my OCD brain will allow, some of them have moved um, just because I didn't account for the, the roll that would be on my machine when I stacked this. Above that, we have all of my shears and scissors. I have my pinking shears, my fabric scissors, regular scissors, and these are my like applique embroidery scissors. These actually came with my embroidery machine. If you don't know the difference between all of these shears, let me know in the comments below and I can make a video about it for you guys. And above that, I have some Cricut supplies. I have my weeding tool along with a squeegee scraper to make things lay flat. Right here is where my um, rotary cutter goes, but he is currently in use, so he is not on the board. Next to those, I have my two Cricut mats. Right above my Cricut mats, I have just a, rant, a dowel with two hooks holding all of my ribbon. And then I have all of these baskets on the side. These guys I found on Amazon as well as all of these pegboard tools and hooks. Over in my baskets, I have extra ribbons, elastic and twine, buttons, I have wire, glue, glue. And down here I have like all of my spray adhesive, my basting spray, um, hot glue, hot glue gun and things like that. They kind of have a rhyme or reason to these baskets. Um, in my head, they make sense. I don't know if they make sense to you guys. And then lastly, over here, we have, well, one, my husband's drill. I need to put this guy away. But I have my paper towels for my crafting projects because you never know when you're going to need a mess. And then I keep my sewing, mach my sewing box and um, notions over here. Moving off of the counter, um, a little peek under the counter. This is another spot that things just kind of get shoved under. I have all the cases to my serger, my singer, and well, both of these are, well, both of these are singers, but all of my machine cases, I have um, some extra things I need to store, quilt batting, my Cricut box. This is a box of scrap fabric. And these guys are two empty file boxes that I haven't found a use for yet. Over to my drawers. This is a standard kitchen cabinet that I painted to make this counter. If you guys missed that video of me painting these and putting it together, I'll put that link in the description below. Over in the drawers, top drawer, I have my various camera supplies, charging cords, different mounts, and I keep my paint brushes. I also have the cases to my tripods and things like that. Drawer number two is where I keep all of my yarn and crochet knitting supplies. I have several, what do you call them, packs of yarn because um, I was going to make a blanket and never got around to it. This is how far I got. Um, I also have some brown down there. I have crochet needles, knitting needles. I have one of these Googles kit that I'm dying to try. I just need the time to actually sit down and do it. I've got tool about down here in the back and um, over here are some, over here are, is a case of knitting needles. And down in the bottom drawer is where I keep all of my embroidery thread. My stepmother gave me this along with the embroidery machine, just giant spools of thread to go with the machine, which is perfect because all thread can add up. It gets expensive real quick. Over on the other side, is more sewing related things. I have notions and things. I have threads, zippers, more zippers, extra spools of threads. Ooh, perfect, I need that. Some buttons in here, grommets, bias tape, just things like that in this top drawer are some notions. The second drawer, I have a cookie, cookie tin full of extra little thread of random colors and embroidery floss. I've got eyes and noses for stuffed animals, my extra set of screwdrivers for my machine, grommets. This is embroidery paper, as well as some of my embroidery machine supplies. And down below all of that is some cardstock, stickers, and scrapbooking things. And last but not least, my patterns drawer. This is where I keep all of my sewing patterns. 
Um, I usually will fold them up and put them not back into their original package. If I can't, they'll end up kind of looking like this. That is why some of them have ended up in plastic bags, kind of like this. I have some homemade, some homemade patterns in here, as well as down at the bottom, I have the manuals to my sewing machine. And finally, you guys probably saw this on my last video, cleaning the shed. This is where I keep all of my fabric. It's a lot more organized and pretty now. I have all of my flannels and soft, soft fabrics up here. I've got some canvas. Below I have standard cotton, quilting cotton, all of my patterns down here. I've got Disney and fun patterns. And then down below I have my basic solid colors basic patterns. I have my fat quarters and extra bolts over here. Down below I have more soft fabric that would not fit up top. I've got minky, dotted minky, and below that is all of my thrifted fabrics. What you can't see is in the back here. I have, there you can kind of see a few of them. I have a few bolts of fabric as well. Over here is where I just keep my trash can. I have some craft foam, more patterns that I have drafted and made myself that I haven't put away in here yet just because they're bigger and I haven't decided how I wanted to fold them. I keep a smaller ironing board hung here and as well, everyone who lives in the Midwest or the South has one of these. It is a bag of bags that I use for trash, storage, containment, stuffing, spacing, etc. And back around over to the couch, I have my mannequin modeling one of the dresses I'm working on currently and um, my clothes, clothes rack. I'll use this guy to hold backdrops, clothes, all kinds of things when I'm not using them. And over here, lastly, is my second end table. I have Sabrina is what I call her. She's my like, she's my little practice model where I'll draft out patterns and kind of use them on her with some scraps before I waste a whole bunch of fabric making one for myself. I've got some candles, a salt lamp, and this is for my daughter. I need to finish making her little baby box. And I almost forgot over here, he's kind of in the middle of everything right now. This is my crafting table. This guy is also from Amazon. He was a treat to myself for my birthday this past year. Um, I have got mine actually about two years ago now. I think this was from Christmas, I'm sorry. This was a treat for myself from Christmas last year. This is my birthday present this year, my new Singer Singer, Singer Quantum Style. It's got the extended table for quilting and things like that, and it can do just more than my previous guy over here has. He, This guy works just fine, I love it. Nothing's wrong with it. This one can do just a little bit more. Below, below my crafting table, I've got more on deck projects. I've got a table, excuse me, I've got a blanket I'm working on in here and a cushion in here. And my current project over here, I am making, redoing this wreath and making some dice bags for a friend of mine. Well guys, I hoped I, I hope I helped cure some curiosity for you guys, showing you what is all hidden here in my she shed and studio, and perhaps giving you some ideas on how to organize your own sewing space or craft studio. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, make sure you like the video and tell YouTube that you enjoyed it so it'll show you more things like this and help the algorithm, and it helps me as well as a creator. If you haven't joined the pack yet, hit the subscribe button. Again, it is totally free and it helps me as a creator as well as giving you all the notifications about my new content. But I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.